My name is James S. Barrett. When I first dressed as a detective at the age of five on Halloween, I got the most candy. Now I get the most criminals behind bars. Not chocolate bars. Now I'm broke and getting a hotel room. Hey, uh, welcome to Hotel Paradise, a comfy stay for half the price. I'll have a single room, please, with extra pillows. Make it double, and you get a deal. I'm not kidding! Okay, jeez, I'll get your damn keys. The hotel was dimly lit, paintings everywhere, staring, like they were watching me. Creeped me out, but nothing scares me. Oh! I needed a place to lie low for a while, waiting for a new case. Hello. Barrett, it's me, Carl. Carl Lloyd is a new friend of mine, a crooked cop turned right. Seems I won't be needing to wait too long for my next case. What's the occasion? Just got word of a huge underground crime organization having a meeting around your area. Seems right up your alley. They never stay down. Any details? No, I'm afraid not. Hmm. I'll get right on it. Yeah, he took the bait. He's here. Okay. That dress. Carl, I need you to get here. As soon as possible. What do you make of it? Seems like a trap. These are some clever crooks. No crooks are clever. If they were, they wouldn't challenge me. I say we go. Now slow down, Barrett. I've been to this side of town. It's not a pretty sight. Listen to me, Carl. I know what the hell I'm doing. So are you coming with me or not? Fine. But I still think it's a trap. Barrett. We've got company.
They're onto us. We have to take a different route. <coughs> Down. Try telling that to my partner. Come out, Barrett. Maybe we'll let you live. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. There's a chance what she said. Where's your friend? Yeah, yeah, where's your friend? I'm right here. What? Nice work, Carl. The house had an ominous look to it, with a large jungle surrounding its walls. Barrett! It's locked. It's okay, Barrett. Let's find another way in. No, Carl. Obviously, they don't want to be disturbed. Don't be rude. Let's look around out here. Don't try and come after us. Yeah, yeah, don't try. Yeah, well, he said, yeah.
such short notice. No problem, Barrett. Let me show you my merchandise. See anything you like? I don't use weapons. Huh. Well, we don't have too much for you then. Besides this... What is it? It's a tracking device. A perfect device for tracking. How much? For the work you did on Frankus, no charge. <laughs> Thanks. Back to the case, huh, Barrett? Crime never sleeps. Unless I make it. Where are you off to? I know a place. When I first came to Florida, one of the most disgusting pits I heard about was the Rusty Rail. A bar where all the thugs hang out. People selling drugs, rugs, slugs, and most importantly, guns. I'm looking for a man named Ty. He's been in the game for years now. If anyone knows anything, it's him. What do you want? I hear you're the gun expert around here. Some call me that. Who's asking? You'd rather not know who I am. Well, business is business. What do you need? Where's the nearest weapon trade point? I got some right here. No need. <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. You a cop? We don't take kindly things like that around here. Pretty pleased with one of those little red fruits on top? Pinky swear you're not a cop? 7432 Rockwell Way, where you find it. Thanks. Welcome, Barrett. Hope you're well rested. Yeah, the game is up, Barrett. Ron, one more word out of you, and you're going to the ground with him. Where's your friend, you bastard? Benny had to go to the hospital after his run in with you two. Best damn man I ever had. Easy money. Funny, Barrett. I like you. Shame you won't be around to keep telling jokes. Who are you? Look around you, Barrett. Who do you think I am? A low-life scum. I'm a liberator. 
I give these guys guns so they can keep order on the streets. I mean, would you rather have me or crooked cops like this? Carl, bear it! I'm not getting out of here tonight without one of your lives. Then I guess you're not going anywhere. Face me. Suit yourself. Good work, Barrett. Another case solved. Couldn't have done it without you. As a detective, many stones are hurled at you. Some small, some big. I am prepared for all these stones, ready to fight back, no matter how fast or hard they are thrown.